hotel now. Uh, going to get like the Iranian version of Uber Snap to this big market. Going to try find some food maybe, and then going to the train station because we have a huge train journey today. So uh, let's jump in the car, go to this huge bazaar, explore that, and then go on an epic train journey across a country twice the size of France, 22 hours long, if it's not delayed. Hi, sir. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? gonna go for a little walk I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for I'm gonna try and find some food but while I'm on the hunt for that I want to tell you about the process to buy a, a train ticket because it's pretty pretty strange so I bought this train ticket online literally like two, two weeks ago or something so the train ticket cost 22 euros for a 22 hour train ride which in my opinion is a pretty good deal. You buy it online and then they're like, we might charge you a cash withdrawal on your credit card. And they're like, okay, we will deliver your ticket within seven to eight working days. And uh, that will cost six euros. And I was like, what do you mean deliver? They're actually gonna send it to my house. So I contacted them and they were like, no, no, that's the email price. So you have to pay six euros to get, to get the ticket sent to your emails. So. Really it was um, a 28 euro ticket, still super cheap, like across the whole country, 1500 kilometers, like such a good deal, look like there's some action up here. You have to be quite well prepared, but you can pay like an extra, I think you pay 16 euros if you want the ticket within 24 hours or something. I've never seen something like that, that you've been charged to receive an email when you buy the ticket, I mean I think they'd include it in the price, but I guess seeing as it's so cheap, you can't really complain too much. I'll leave the website for the tickets linked below and you guys can check it out. And uh, <laughs> lots of people laughing at me. Random dude walking around filming himself. I'm not sure how I'll get back to Tehran. I might hitchhike back, we'll see. Maybe take a combination of hitchhiking and buses and if I can get another train, that would be cool. But I've got a, a four bed cabin today. So I'll be sharing with three other strangers. It's supposed to be like first class, so I don't know, but for that price, I'm not gonna be complaining. So you can see I found some falafel there, just picked up this huge sandwich. This will keep me full for a while for sure. It costs just under one US dollar for this whole thing, have a look. It's massive. Anyway, I'm gonna try and tuck into this. And then we will probably head to the train station. Sandwich is pretty tasty. It's like falafel, it's got some pickles, gherkins, lettuce, tomato, and it's like kind of spicy. And it's on this white bread. The white bread's a little bit old, I think, but the falafel is super fresh. Nice. That'd be gone. 
Thank you. Have a good day. Good day. Merci. Arrived at the train station and I am quite early, I think. Go for a little walk down here before I head into the train station, but at least we know we're close so I don't miss it. Start myself another falafel sandwich, found another falafel place. Hopefully keep me going for a while. And I think you can buy food and things on the train and that'd be a cool experience. So save some space for that. So head into the train station, put the camera away now when I go through security. Seeing as it's like a very serious kind of public place and I don't want to push my luck. <laughs> So I got my ticket checked, uh, then the lady sent me to go and get my passport checked, some guy checked my passport, signed it and asked me if I had a, an Iranian visa and I was like, yeah, he's like, where is it? I was like, I don't know, my passport, because they don't stamp your passport when you enter Iran. And he was like, oh, okay then. So he just took my word for it. Now I've got to wait. They've got all these different lines here. Pretty uh, beautiful train station. Actually, I, th I think it was designed by a German architect and built in 1930, if I'm correct. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Anyway, so there are all these different lines and in five minutes, I think we can go and start boarding the train. This is a really nice train station. Like, it's got the historic kind of feel to it, but it's also very modernized with lots of easy to read screens, English as well as um, Persian or Farsi. Really good impression so far. Let's uh, see what the train's like. Salam. Four, okay. Merci. So I'm trying to figure out which one is mine because I can't read these Persian uh, numbers. This one. Uh, merci. Okay. Thank you. Alright guys, so this is the cabin. And wow, this place is amazing. Look, they got like cakes and tea and water. Well, this is apparently first class, so pretty cool. And I think these beds up here obviously fold down. Even got plugs, this is luxury. We got TVs and everything. I'm not sure if this comes with food, but I got afternoon tea here, so maybe it does. This is luxury. This is like the nicest sleeper train or any form of train I think I've ever been on. First class, 22 euros. Incredible. obviously moving cool sights already going past this I think this is like the outskirts of Tehran you can see the little kind of shanty areas and uh, met a couple that are staying in the same room as me I think so far it's like three people in our room all together so pretty cool the guy just came around and gave us free milk and biscuits Shit. This is a different carriage though, so later I'll have a look at the other ones in our like first class cabin and then see if they're the same. I'm not sure if you can hear me but it's very loud, so I think we're making two stops. One for sunset for praying 
and one for sunrise for praying. So it's like, you know, 22 hour ride, two stops. Loving it, this is amazing. so you can't really complain too much. So we have stopped for prayer time. So some of the people on my train, this is my train behind me, are getting off to go down to uh, the mosque, uh, down these stairs in front of me. The people who want to get off and pray uh, can do so, or just jump off, get some fresh air, have a cigarette, whatever floats your boat. It's been a few hours actually, I thought we were going to uh, stop at sunset, but we didn't. Um, we stopped a few hours later, so we've just been hanging out in the cabin. I made up my bed already, and I'm probably going to go to sleep pretty soon, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Because the train doesn't get to Bandar Abbas until 1pm tomorrow. Loving this train journey so far. One of the coolest train journeys so far that I've been on. Nowhere near as extreme as India in terms of like roughing it. Um, it's quite luxury to tell you the truth. I will see you in the morning guys and uh, we'll keep this adventure going. Obviously it's the following day. Got about eight hours sleep, which isn't too bad, I think, for a, a sleeper train. It wasn't like eight hours in a row, it was, you know, patches of hours here with a few hour breaks in between. We woke up with a, a new uh, resident in our room. I'm not sure where he came from, but he's in the, uh, the spare bed. I think maybe, I don't know, maybe his girlfriend got angry with him. Anyway, so we're just going through these kind of jagged, it's, it's pretty cool, it's like desert with jagged steep mountains. We've got a few more hours less left of the train ride. So I'll show you some of the scenery because it's pretty unique. In each cabin there's like this uh, guy who works each cabin and he's got his own little room with like hot water and tea and coffee and uh, water and you can go visit him, he'll make you a tea and things and when we woke up he brought us tea to our rooms and I think you can buy little snacks from him and things so it's a really nice setup and these trains are extremely clean it's amazing, they clean them very well and they've all got like little Persian rugs inside the cabin so it's really authentic and when I went and visited the tea guy before he was playing like Persian music inside his little cabin and just looking out the window across the desert with the Persian music playing was really uh, made you feel like you are where you are, you know what I mean?
Bandar Abbas. Long train ride, I think it was about maybe an hour or so delayed, so not too bad. I heard that if it's over four hours delayed, they give you half the price of the ticket and a refund, so it's pretty cool. If that was uh, like that in India, then that country would be bankrupted. So I've got a bunch of taxis here. see what kind of a deal I can get. I've got no hotel booked, uh, so I'm gonna like head into the city, see what, what I can find. And would you look at that view? Okay, so found a hotel. As you can see, pretty cool view right by the uh, Persian Gulf out there. There's lots of uh, like cargo ships and uh, there's some young guys playing water polo. I had a look, quick look on Google. Um, I haven't used the Google kind of hotel search before and it actually was pretty good because as you know, booking.com is not a thing here and neither is Airbnb and on the other websites, I could only find one or two kind of random hotels but this one seems like it's in a good location i'm just kind of in transit here because tomorrow heading to the islands to meet a friend who i met through a good armenian friend so what a trip from tehran all the way here that 23 hour trip so basically just call it a full day met those people on there the young couple the woman was from azerbaijan the man was from iran and they live here in bandar abbas really nice interaction so i couldn't really get it on film but it's just you got to feel it out and you can't just get out the camera and just put it in people's faces especially when you're having these in-depth conversations about things that they may or may not want other people to hear anyway enough rambling guys if you've got some questions about this train ride leave them below but i highly recommend to come travel around by train because for that price you cannot go wrong all right guys i'll see you tomorrow in case i don't see you good afternoon good evening and good night thank you for watching